welcome back to the vlog. We're closing January. We know it's the slowest month of the year. I'm starting to pack for Paris because we leave in three days. So tomorrow I'm gonna definitely, definitely pack. Maybe I'm gonna film it. Pack with me for Paris. As for the plans for this vlog, we have sunny days but really, really cold. I feel like last week we were really lucky. The weather was amazing. Now it's again kind of freezing. I cannot wait for spring to come. I'm always super happy when winter arrives and we start getting sweaters. But we're at the point where when we go out, we freeze. And to be honest, I very easy fall into not going out, staying home way too much and that's not good for me. So vlogging also helps me to go out. So that's something that we're gonna definitely do today. I need to run some errands before Paris. I need to go to Sephora. I need to buy some thermals. I need to do some stuff for the house before we leave. And we also have an unboxing. This is going to be the first unboxing of the year. It's the first thing of my wish list. It's like an in-between two items that I wanted. And I hope that this feels that need that I had for this specific bag. So let me show it to you. So last year I sold my Deville and my Dior book tote because I just needed a really big bag that would fit my computer, that it would be good for traveling. I just feel like I need a very good massive bag that it's good for bringing all my stuff, especially my computer when traveling. Sometimes I use public transportation a lot so I was looking for something that was not like too open just to avoid any risk of pickpocketing. So this came by and it's like a little baby between two bags that I wanted that this one had such a better resale price point. And I've honestly thought about this bag for such a long time in the past two years that I think it was time to give it a chance and to see if this one is better for me than the Deville. So this bag, I got it pre-loved. I found it on Lux de Jour and they sent me the packaging, but it also came in their branded box, which is this one. It looks like this. I really love their logo. I am a little bit surprised about the size of the box, given that the bag is massive, but I ordered this from the US. So Lux de Jour, they are located in California, but they also have a base in Canada and I had to stock their website for days and days because they have so many new arrivals every single day with amazing pieces. I found one of my Cartier pieces from my wishlist. They had the Justin Clue in gold, just in my size, with the diamonds, and I was so tempted because you rarely see Cartier and Van Cleef on resale sites and they have amazing pieces for really good prices, so it was really hard for me to stick to this because I know that this I'm gonna use so, so much, but I'm definitely gonna have my eye out for the joke because I think I'm now a little bit obsessed with it. So the shipping was insanely fast. Fast. I don't know if you guys follow them on Instagram, but they have some of the funniest reels that I have ever ever seen They had the Birkin baby gender reveal reel. I'm gonna put it right here So basically they would open the box and if the Birkin was pink it was a girl and if it was blue It was a boy which went super viral. So they have really really good content Let me show you the back first and then I can keep rambling It comes with this card and this is the back packaging amazing. So I saw this one available I have tried it at the store before many times So this is not the first time that I'm gonna see the bag or try it on I just I know that I like it but I was originally thinking to get the Chanel XXL or the Chanel 22 but finding a Chanel 22 in black in the size that I wanted was almost impossible and for the Chanel XXL the resale price is quite high so I think this bag is a perfect baby in between and it's black and it's leather and contrary to the Chanel 22 this one doesn't really look like a trash bag but I like the 22 it has really grown on me I just think that this bag will serve me way way better so I found this one and I was like okay we're gonna do this this is the dust bag. So I finally got a Maxi Chanel. It's just the 19 bag. And if you ask me, I think the 19 bag is one of the most comfortable bags that Chanel has. They had so many pictures, so I checked and the bag is in amazing condition. It's in black. We're gonna take the tags off, but I love about the 19 bag, the back pocket, because this is going to be so good for traveling. The 19 bag, it's such a squishy, moldable bag. And yeah, this is a very good in-between, the Chanel 22 and the XXL. It's more comfortable. This bag, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry much about it, and I'm definitely taking it to Paris. This is also going to be great if I need public transportation because it has a flap. So let's take the tag off. This is going to be my work, travel, laptop, very easy, very comfy. Also, the 19 bag has a very good strap. So I think this this was like the best of both worlds in every sense. The bag is also in such good condition. I am very excited. It's beautiful. I love the leather and it's like this big squishy pillow. We're definitely gonna start using it today because I want to go work outside and we can plan some outfits with it and we're gonna take it to Paris. Lux de Jour gave me a discount code in case anyone is interested and just wanted to note that they have the buy now pay later. They have so many brands and jewelry, bags, shoes, and of course they do ship international. I'm in Spain very specifically in Barcelona and the 
shipping was super fast, super easy. But yeah, this is going to be a very, very functional bag. Definitely gonna work out better for me than the Duvel and it has more of a seedier look. So let me finish my coffee and put on it to finish some stuff. Let's change and pick an outfit that goes very well with the bag. I'm gonna show you what fits inside because I'm very curious too. I want to see how heavy it is, if my laptop, AirPods, agenda, all of that fits and how comfy it is. So let's do that. Okay, so we're in the office. Here I have my laptop and all my stuff that I just want to make sure that everything fits and that it's going to be super comfy. I really hope that the mic is doing its job because there's a construction on the street next to us and it's so loud. It's been driving me crazy because they start really, really early and they finish quite late. So let's see what fits in the bag. And the most important part is going to be the computer. So I changed my laptop a few weeks ago because I used to have the 2018 MacBook 16 inch, which I regret so much. I know that the screen, having a bigger one when you edit videos is really good, but honestly, it was more of a pain because I had to travel with it everywhere. It was heavy, didn't fit in any bag. This is the new MacBook. It's 14 inch, not 13. And this is how it looks compared to the bag. I know that everyone's going to tell me that putting the laptop inside of the bag is probably gonna stretch it. So I'm going to order an organizer for it to avoid that as much as I can. But this bag being pre-loved, quite used, I really want to use it for this kind of stuff. So I'll just have to work around it and find a very thick and good organizer so the leather doesn't stretch much. And finally, it does fit inside and it has a stunning red interior with a pocket zipper pocket may i add which is going to be great now my headphones right now i'm gonna pack it more than what i'm actually gonna take out because i just want to test how much fits inside of the bag and how it looks stuffed if it gets super heavy just like really tested i'm not gonna bring all of this with me today so i'm gonna take a few things out but many of this is going to come with me to paris and we're gonna take the train and i'm gonna be working a lot on the train and there sadly this is not going to be a trip where i can just take the days off and relax we're gonna be vlogging doing a ton of wedding stuff i need to keep editing videos so i need to take a lot of stuff with me so airpods let's see how it looks with my agenda gm inside this is how it's looking my chanel okays my hand cream and i'm not really the type of person that carries this every single day out but lately my hands have been so cold and dry that i constantly feel the need to add moisturizer so i've been bringing it with me everywhere my wallet every time that i go to cafes or anything like that i like to take the handbag hooks from carry with me this one is in rose gold and i love it and it's so you can hang your bags in case you don't have space or an extra chair or anything it's super super nice and it comes with its little pouch so it doesn't really scratch the inside of your bags sunglasses and these ones are new they are the Jimmy Fairley Barcelona. They reached out to me on Instagram and sent me this. They're basically the Barcelona limited edition sunglasses. And they are quite interesting. Like, I only have black sunglasses, so these are the only ones that I have like this. I haven't really been using sunglasses because it's been so rainy, but today it's super sunny and I wanted to take them out. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't take two lip products or three, no matter where I go. So we have the Hourglass and the Clinique Black Honey. This one's I'm gonna put on the little zipper on the back. And it's quite packed. I am definitely taking the agenda out, but this is how it looks like. And we still have the back pocket. Now it doesn't look as flat. We still have tons of space here. So here goes my phone. I don't know anything else that I'm missing. And we're good to go. But yeah, we're definitely not taking the agenda. I don't love taking it out because it's quite massive and takes a lot of space. But all good fits absolutely everything that I need. So now I just need to change. I need a very warm outfit for today, but something that is comfy and looks good because I'm gonna be out for a very good part of the day. But yeah, this was the Justin Clue that I was talking about. It was exactly my size, but it sold super fast. It's the one of the diamonds on the head and on the nail. So it was such a beautiful piece. And the price was very good, but but yeah, the things sell out really quickly. I would suggest that if you're looking for anything specific to check every now and then and be quick when checking out because as I said, things sell quite fast with them. And of course, following them on Instagram, they're super, super funny. I love their content. So before it gets too late, let me go change. Okay, it's time to get ready. And I think today I'm gonna go with a full black outfit. I'm really not feeling like doing more effort than that. I am such a fan of monochromatic looks. So you will very likely see me often with all white, all black or beiges when I'm feeling a little bit wild. I kind of wish that I could go out with this sweater, but it's very very chunky and then you cannot really put a coat over it So it gets a little bit in the way and I do think that I'm gonna need a coat So I'm going to go with the Aritzia. They're called the effortless pant from Wilfred I'm gonna try to look for them and link them. I love these pants. I have them in white 
brown this like brick color i definitely need to order more colors and i love the fact that they have petite section but sometimes they don't have all the colors on the petite side so i have to get the regular ones and then cut them but let me put the pants on i was actually thinking to go work at soho but they don't really let you film there and today we're vlogging so i don't think it's the best mix sometimes i can get away with filming a little bit but taking my camera out and vlogging definitely not now for the belt, we're gonna go with the Kelly belt that actually I kind of wish that it was reversible because it's brown on the back, but it actually doesn't work that way. Now I need to pick a sweater. I want to go with black to go with a monochromatic theme, but most of my sweaters are on the dry cleaning because I sent them before going to Paris. So I think I have one that is really good for layering that I didn't take it. And it's this one from El Cupini. It's like super, super thin and comfy. And for the coat, I'm gonna go with the Max Mara one. I love this one. And of course the bag. So this is going to be the outfit of the day. I know that being a Black doesn't show all the details but i'm gonna show you how the bag looks this is how it looks on the crook of my arm and you can see the bag a bit more in detail right there it's so soft and moldable i love it i took a few things out so it's not too bulky the top handle for me makes all of the difference i love how the bag looks and i love the massive back pocket this is how it looks as a shoulder bag in my opinion it doesn't look overwhelming or too big and if i want i can do crossbody which probably won't be my preferred way to use it but you know that you can do it to go to Sephora, Uniqlo for thermals, and I also need to pick up my pants from the tailor. I did like the empanadas a lot, especially the ones that are spicy meat. They were my favorite and the coffee is good. So I do think we're gonna add this place to the spots where we come back, especially if you want to work outside of the house. And since the weather is so nice, we thought to come out. There's also no music here, so it's easier for vlogging. back home and I wanted to do a little Sephora haul because I bought a bunch of stuff. I've been for the past couple of weeks literally scraping off what's remaining of the ones that I have. So I always kind of do this. I hate going to Sephora just for one thing so I wait till a lot of things are almost done. Or if I have like my favorite product but I have another blush. It's not my favorite blush and not the one that I use every single time. But I have some blush. I will use that one until I need like a bunch of things and then it's granted to go to Sephora because it's it's always so crowded especially here you never find anything i also don't know why i don't like ordering online so i just went and got a bunch of stuff so let's do a mini haul so the first thing that i got was my dry shampoo i am almost running out and i want to take it to the trip because i don't like washing my hair every single day i usually wash my hair every three days or so sometimes more sometimes less depends but this dry shampoo is amazing and i get the one that is for light tones Next thing is this from Laneige. I ran out like three weeks ago and I just didn't go for it. So I'm happy to have it back. And it's the Waterbank Hyaluronic Serum. It's this one that comes in the blue bottle. I really, really love it. Then I got some freebies. This is from Raban. I love when I get the really, really small samples of actual makeup because you get to take it on trips so you don't have to bring the full-size ones. I also ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I love this one. It gives you such a glowy look. It's this one. It's not like full coverage and I actually prefer that it's not full coverage, but I love anything that is Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my favorite makeup brands. Then I found 
finally found my blush, which I was really, really hoping to find. This is from Rare Beauty and it's this one. It's the color Nearly Move. I have such a hard time pronouncing that word. Then we have the Tarte Concealer. This one is a creamy one. This one is super hydrating, so it doesn't feel like it cakes up or anything. This is why I really like it. I also wanted to try a new brand of highlighter because the one that I have, I've had it for so many years. And this one is also from Rare Beauty. It's this one. We'll update how I like it. And this one has been sold out for such a long time, but I found the Anastasia Brow Kit with this one. I've been looking for this one for such a long time. Comes with a little brush and just a full kit. This is what I was excited to get, that it's the little gel. It is really, really good. I'm actually shocked I got a mini lipstick on the freebies from Paco Rabanne. Sadly, it's a shade of red that I don't see myself using. Maybe just a tad, but I don't know. I'm not a red lipstick person. I also got my contour and my brow pencil. This is from Rare Beauty 2. And that's it, but Polo also has something to show you because he spent a lot of money in a lot of candy. We found this Mexican store that sells candy, um, tortillas, you know, to stock up on things that we usually miss eating from Mexico. And he liked the candy so much that he found the provider and made a massive, massive order. So I was absolutely not joking that he bought... I thought I bought the less candy. This is like eight it's months like... of candy. 10, 10, and 10. And all of it is spicy. Can you explain yeah. to them? It's like, this is mango <laughs> enchilado. Spicy mango. Spicy mango, but how do you say dehydrate? I like this. So. It's like with chili. From 1 out of 10? Mmm, 10. <laughs> this is like sweet, spicy. Okay. And this is pineapple. Can you show the product to them? No, I don't Sell want it. to open it. Spicy pineapple. Very good. And this is. Oh, that's the one that I like. It's like it's so sour gummies with chamoy so he got all of this because he thought that he was getting a good deal going straight to the provider instead of going to the store so yeah very good very happy also i realized that we never did a try on haul for masha's winter attire and her raincoat so we have masha here she's gonna try them on for us so first the sweater this is a beautiful gray turtleneck yes it's yours. So this is her gray sweater right now. I don't know why she looks like this, but she actually loves to put them on. This one, we really only use it when it's really, really cold. So let's take it off. And this was tailor-made. It even has this. So she doesn't get wet when it's raining. This was literally custom-made. Fits her perfectly, even on her little booty. And right here too. 